Well, guys, uh, this is another update. I've uh, been a little busy with some things in between, but I did get some stuff done. So I hope you guys enjoy the update. More scenery this yard is in. I had to touch it up in some spots. Still have some issues with my number four turnouts kind of being frozen, but I think the more that I work them, uh, the better they get. So um, got that going for me. I did put in an interlocking tower. So things are rolling and getting working back down towards the uh, town. Uh, but I'm getting there. Uh, this is almost two-thirds of the way scenic, uh, which I'll talk about in the video. There's still a lot more work to be done. So, guys, I hope you uh, enjoy uh, the update. Hit like, subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Okay, back at it again. Uh, I redid this road. I do not know what it is about this particular color of ballast, but it tends to lump up and dry up immediately putting glue on it and I soaked it in isopropyl um, but I just don't know what it is this color is a pain but I, I need the road to be a little bit different looking uh, maybe should have used the Woodland Scenics dirt so I did redo it um, like so right here you can kind of see where it sticks up I'm gonna leave it for now and if I got to come back and touch it up I'm just gonna touch it up because I'm done messing with it I don't want it to look like crap amongst all my better looking scenery and have it look like garbage so I did redo that um, went all the way back with the road around the buildings here back here and that's going to go to the salvage yard back here is now ballast as well uh, back here will be like maintenance way or some trucks some employees engineers parking there and um, so you see the track there I ballasted in between there is uh, to look like oil that uh, was big in the ICG era in the 80s uh, it looked like an oil pit basically <laughs> so um, I wanted this to be a little bit nicer yard than the normal yards because it's busy and more upkept maybe uh, so I did put just a little bit in there um, that's going to be sealed up I'm not even worried about it. I will come back and vacuum it um, like I always do I've already vacuumed up the track for the grain elevator and cleaned all that up and the lead up to it so that's all clean and ready to go. I'll probably do the back again just because I ballasted by it. Uh, ballasted up here the rest of the way. Got that all in. Uh, I see some mud and some oil here in the engine area. Right here, of course, will be the pad for the sanding and uh, fueling facility or uh, little tanks that I'm going to put in there. Uh, I got to do that, so I'll probably do that, and then I'll finish up this little area here. Um, as well as next, I'm going to probably start on the yard. Uh, replacing that number four two number fours in here uh, cleaning it up seeing trains run through it um, making sure it's all good before I uh, get a paint marker <laughs> and paint it so it doesn't look like that um, it'll look a lot better especially being in the forefront I want it to look nice uh, for sure so uh, touch that all up got some little pieces of uh, ballast out of it it's looking great so I'm just gonna let this dry for a good uh, probably a good couple days actually um, then we'll come back and I'll continue on and uh, show you what I'm up to so uh, stay tuned all right so I did a little bit more work um, got an interlocking tower here I can't remember what kit this is I think Blair line maybe uh, what a pain that was I'm not gonna lie still need some touch up to it We'll do that. I'll put a little tree somewhere around there, some scenery around it too. But for now, it's just that's where it's going to be like that. I did put a crew member in there. They're hard to see because not lit up. But uh, there will be a crew member in there. Uh, did a little bit more bushes in here, as you can see. Uh, right here is my radio tower. It is going to go right about here, and the bridge for the highway will come across here. But the radio tower will go right about here. Some guide wires is what I'm going to use. Probably some small, like, uh, I don't know what gauge wire that would be. But uh, that's what I'm going to use. Um, I think I talked about trees. I did put in a few more trees. A few little ones over here. I don't want to take away from anything going on in this area. Uh, fix that up a little bit too. Put a tree there. This is an old building from my old layout. And I think for now, I'll use it as a maintenance away. I'm not sure if I will go with the Rick's kit here. Just go with this. I think it looks okay. doesn't cost me anything. So uh, I may, uh, i got to get a 
chimney for it because the one I had on it broke off. So I'll have to do that. Um, now, as you can see, the yard is ballasted. Let's go back down here and take a look. As you can see, uh, test car down there. Um, I need to do some work to this, clean up the track. I got my tools there to clean up the track. I need to uh, get the turnouts going. They're locked up. As you can see, this one is locked up. This is, it just needs some isopropyl on it. It's got glue under that mechanism. Um, this whole ladder does, and at the other end it does too. Um, I did replace a couple of these number fours and test them out pretty good. So I hope not ballasting uh, will mess them up. Or ballasting will not mess them up is what I meant to say. Uh, but uh, running cars back and forth. It, it was this one right here. Seems to go pretty smooth. Uh, that's derailing because there's some spots on the track where some ballast is stuck to it. And I'll have to fix that, which that's why I got a test car for. But a lot of cleaning up to do here on the track and vacuum. I take a shot back and vacuum all that up. Be some touch up, of course. Uh, some little more grass added to the yard. So we'll do that. And, um, of course, I did along the side here, the layout. It needs some touch-up as well. Um, it just ran off the side a little bit. So, but I'll just take some glue and touch all those spots up along here. And then I'll put in some telephone poles eventually, shortly, I hope. Um, did a round up in here. Uh, did the trees around here. Those are good. I uh, re kind of redid this little area and freshened it up back here along the lumber yard. Now I did back here and as you can see there is a salvage yard I made back there, an old F3 unit. I painted GM and O. It's an old life like it's burned up. Um, got all weathered, make it look nice on an old track. Another old box car, a couple old box cars that I don't have parts for. So I might as well use them in this scene. Um, that is a it's like salvage pile I got from Vinny when he sent me my uh, engine house. Um, you can see uh, he actually built that on one of his uh, live shows a long time ago when John Dilly was a guest, I believe, or Grandpa Rails, as we all know him as. Um, very cool to have that. But uh, just some touch-up needs to be done. And that's about it. I still have to make my platform for that. I've got new exacto uh, blades and I've got the styrene. I just have to take the time and kind of plan it out and get it cut and painted. Uh, which that'll probably be next once I get all this yard cleaned up before I make my bridge. I'm going to do that as well over there. And um, see I put some engines back on here. That's all cleaned up and vacuumed. Uh, that's all cleaned up, vacuumed and tested. Uh, I haven't uh, tested with cars. I haven't run a locomotive over it yet. Probably just needs to be cleaned up a little bit, top of the track. But um, looks great. Uh, really nice. That looks good over there. Uh, you see the static grass, especially around that. Um, this is static grass, but you can't see it as well. Uh, for some reason, I mixed two different sizes. It just didn't, just didn't go as good as it did like over here where you can see it. And especially back over here, you can really see the static grass sticking up, which I love. Looks good. Didn't want to put it over here too much or near the track or in between it. That's just my personal belief. I, I don't want that stuff near my track because uh, I don't want a locomotive picking up. Even though I look at this yard, you'll probably be like, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, but this will be really clean and uh, make sure of that. So uh, stay tuned. I'm going to clean everything up and we'll come back and I'll show you the touch-ups and that'll be the end of this update. Okay, <laughs> well that's a good sign over there, engines humming away. Uh, cleaned up the track, I've still got some spots to clean up. Had to fix some spots, uh, finished along the main here. Uh, there were some spots that you know washed out once I vacuumed up. Fixed all this up along the main, uh, got that in. Uh, put a few little trees, not very many big trees, a few little trees and some foliage, another 
maybe a little tree right there that's about it uh, there may be some little trees like that size to be put in but uh, all this in I still have to work on my turnouts um, I got to get a straw that will fit my CRC the one they sent me is too big actually it came with the bottle I need to spray it down in this little group this little thing down here to get under the mechanism uh, they're doing better I've been putting isopropyl on there to loosen them up and they're loosening up so I need to get some dry uh, graphite to put in there too and that'll get them moving it's just they were fine and I ballasted around them and I think the glue got underneath them and has frozen up the mechanisms underneath uh, which I haven't had that problem any other switches but these number fours so I'm just got to keep working on them and they'll come loose it's just a pain <laughs> But the scenery is in. I to touch up this big area came out and dried up when I vacuumed. Uh, a couple other little spots over here I did to do, do, do along there, the back there. It came up too. Uh, but it's drying again. I fixed it. Fixed a big spot there. Uh, this looks like an ICG yard. This is the way their yards look. Dirty like this. Uh, in the middle, weedy. Uh, now I kept the main nice. And for the most part, I kept this front track here is where trains will pull in kept it pretty nice the two middle two are kind of weedy uh definitely kept the runaround track excuse me the runaround track here nice uh kept it nice and cleaned so i uh, still have to do the pad for that and that's probably what i'm gonna try to focus in on next to get this area finished i am out of ballast again because this yard took a lot so i'll have to uh get another bag of that I don't have much to do just down here so almost two-thirds this is a mess almost two-thirds of the layout is done uh, once I get the bridge over here everything starts rolling the other way uh, there's details that I have to do to this but as far as scenic wise it's getting there uh, the details can come later people uh, vehicles um, things like that uh, can all come later and they will um, I plan on it uh, I thought I had some telephone poles to put in along here which I would have done also but cannot find them when I went through my stuff I know I saw them but I just cannot find them so I'm probably have to take that tub of extra parts literally pull everything out and I'm sure it'll be the last thing in there as always uh, little signs I found as well in there uh, like railroad property keep out stuff like that I'm gonna have to use um, for sure for a little detail uh that's a good thing though over there that that engine's humming away that track up maybe clean it up a little bit more like i said just the top of the rails get it clean some crc so um hopefully that works and uh, that's it for this update i hope you guys enjoy it uh see this yard scenery uh looks great uh, like i said i'm almost two-thirds uh of the way scenic uh not done with anything by by no means there's so many other little things that need to be done but if it's fully scenic and things are in place um then it can be separate videos with little things to be done uh but there's there's still plenty of videos to come still plenty of scenery to put in and this little parts of town so it's going to take a lot of a lot of planning um before i put this bridge in so next time uh, after this video i'm going to clean everything up get the other part cleaned up down there and uh get my workbench cleaned up Jerry Sarelli gonna get it cleaned up and uh, that's it so guys I hope you enjoyed this uh, little update here it's been about a week in the making no, a little bit over a week in the making so there will be more coming I'll see what I get done here is uh, starting to some projects around the house uh, we got an issue in the bathroom and so take care of that but guys uh, hit like subscribe enjoy and uh, I will catch you guys all later in your videos. Thanks for watching.